Earlier I showed how to install Oracle VM VirtualBox and how to install Debian on it. I also demonstrated on how to update the software using the update manager and how to bring in new software by using the software center. In this tutorial I want to show you a little bit about the GNOME desktop which is the normal desktop for the Debian. First of all if you double click the computer you will get into the file browser which is equivalent to Windows Explorer. What I'd like to you always have on GNOME desktop you have these four spots um, what's going on is that we actually have, let me bring this back, four separate windows, you could say, four separate workspaces in according to GNOME terminology. So if I go to the first one, here it is, and it's got Qt Creator in it, which I downloaded earlier on. And the second workspace has nothing. We'll return to the second one later on to actually show you what else you have. And this is the third one in which I open the file browser. And here I have a console um, or a terminal and um, I'm running bash. So let's go to the empty one. We can Basically, of course, there is the um, web browser and then there is the email. But if we go here, we start with the preferences. I'm not going to say anything about those today. Administration and the important thing I've already demonstrated is the software center, which allows you to download new software or you could get rid of software so it's equivalent to the windows add remove software and the update manager which allows you to show and install available updates now we go to the applications and let me go to another virtual machine first and this is the way the applications come when you first install uh, Debian. There's accessories, games, graphics, internet, office, which has the Oracle Open Office Suite, and um, sound and video system tools, and the universal access. Now let's go back to the system where I have played with it more as you add programs from education I've added programming I have added and science I've added you get the new you could say folders added to it now under accessories an important thing is the terminal which opens a new bash terminal and um, you can I will talk about a little bit about bash in a later uh, tutorial um, calculator character um, Emacs is a really good editor you can start a root terminal this starts you as a super user so you can actually and here I'll have to I must have logged in already as a super user and I have in the graphics here is GIMP which is a very good image photography program um, I use open office on all of my machines including the windows machines and um, i will have quite a lot of tutorials about 
Eclipse, which is a wonderful free IDE. And then finally, we come to System Tools, and you have things like System Monitor, which shows how much of the CPU is being used, network, etc. It's basically equivalent to the Windows um, Task Manager. That's it for GNOME. Just play around with it and um, slowly you will learn what is what. Thank you.